Lion King Shoes Acrylic Painting Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Paper. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you a Lion King themed pair of shoes. So across the heel there's the sunset and then there is the silhouette of Simba, Timon, and Pumbaa and just kind of like walking around like when they walk across the log in the movie. And so that's just really simple. Like I said, it's got a sunset background. And then on the side of one of the shoes, it has Timon and Pumbaa. And on the side of the other shoe, it has Simba. So they're not the same, but they go together. And I just, I love the way they turned out. I have so many Lion King theme shirts that I've been wearing these a lot since I painted them. So I hope you guys like this as much as I do. And I will post a link to my shoe painting playlist in the description box below because this isn't the first pair and if you guys like this definitely check those out as well and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well so here's to start with i'm going to do the heel to begin with these are a wedge shoe so you can have a lot of space to paint on the heel and i'm going to begin with a really simple sunset appearance so i'm going to start with orange right along that seam and then do just a yellow gradient going down so it looks like the sun with the orangey skies up above so just blend that in. Well, the really fun thing about painting shoes, um, well, one thing you have to keep in mind is material. So the material that you want to use is something absorbent. So you don't want to do something that's like a patent leather or anything shiny, but canvas works really well, canvas shoes, or these ones are kind of like a faux suede sort of appearance. And so that really sucks in the paint and works super well, but you can also create really easy gradients when you're painting on that kind of absorbent surface. So after I have my little sunset background done and it has dried, this is going to be a lot easier for you than to paint your details. To start with, painting on that fuzzy suede type feel is not that easy to do from the lines, but after you have a layer of paint on it, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I'm gonna take, and with black paint, I'm going to be painting the little black silhouettes of Simba, Timon, and Pumbaa. Like they're doing their little strut against the sunset, like in the one part of the movie, when I'm pretty sure that's during the Hakuna Matata song anyways so then paint so i start out with my simba and i'm just doing the outlines right now with my silhouettes i'll go back through and fill them in with a bigger brush the brush i'm using currently is so tiny it would take forever to fill in all of those bodies with black paint so i just decided i'd do the outlines first and then go back through so there is my little timon or my pumba not timon here's timon and since timon is smaller i just did his entire body with the smaller brush anyway since there's really no space to use a bigger one so then after you have all three of those guys done, go through in any spaces that you need to with a bigger brush, go ahead and fill those in. The paint will, just because of the way that this material is when you're painting on it, you probably aren't gonna need second coats of anything because it will just more stain it than do anything else. And especially if your shoes are a neutral color like the ones that I have here, you probably won't have any trouble with that. So now I already have my Timon and Pumbaa painted onto the shoe. So I've already got the backgrounds or the little outlines done. This is more of a sketch than anything else. If there's any mistakes on there, I don't really worry about it. So that's why I didn't show you in the video because it's just it's a sketch. And so then I'm going to go through and with, I'm going to work my way from the top going down. So I'm going to start with Timon's head and face. And then, like I said, just kind of work your way down because the way the shoes absorb the paint, it does take longer than regular paint to dry. So I'm using acrylic craft paint to do this. And it does take, like I said, a little bit longer to dry because it ends up being much thicker. And so when you're doing this, you don't really want to be painting above what you just painted because it's really easy to get your hand in it and smear it. And then you have no recourse on a pair of shoes. It's not like a canvas where you can repaint the background. You can't really repaint the background on shoes unless you reinvent the background, at least in this design. And the other one where it was yellow and orange in the background, you probably would have been okay. But above here, just be a little bit more cautious. And so then I'm, after I have my Timon done, I'm going to work on Pumbaa. I'm not going back through and doing the little finer outlines and details quite yet. I went back later with just a thin brush and my black paint and redid the outlines that I needed to not, you know, I did both of them at the same time. So I'm working on Pumbaa and I am doing some highlights and some shadows on here. So it's, they're not just filled in with block colors like normally you would think of a or a animated character you would but i'm making these a little bit more a little more lively so as you can see i'm blending in the colors and just like with doing the gradient it is so easy to blend in colors for highlights and shadows on this suede material it just it basically blends itself in it just works so nicely and you don't really have to worry about it and like i said i i did mention this a second ago i was using acrylic craft paint so this is the dollar bottle stuff that you can get at Walmart or Michaels or Hobby Lobby or whatever your arts and craft store is, they will have it. My favorite brands, people ask me this all the time, uh, my favorite brand is Americana. I think especially the white and the black, best out there. 
And when you are using acrylic paints, acrylic craft paint or artist paint or whatever it is that you're using on a pair of shoes like this, another question I get frequently is what do you seal it with? Um, nothing. I don't seal it with anything. My, my thought on this is, I don't know if you guys paint much, but if you get paint on your clothes and you try to get it out, you better be quick because if you don't get that out immediately, it's not coming out. So I figure if it is not coming out when I want it to come out, it's not going to come out when I don't want it to come out either. So I don't worry about sealing it because what's going to happen to it? Nothing. Once that paint is set into material, it's staying. So that's kind of my train of thought there. If you want to seal it with something, go ahead. I figured the material will have more movability and it's not really going to happen nothing's going to happen to it. So I don't worry about it. So now, like I said before, I'm going to go back through with a much finer brush and black paint and redo any of my outlines that I want to add any little details that I may need to. Not so much on these guys, but on Simba at this point, I did add his whiskers, which you'll see in a moment because I will show you painting Simba as well. But painting these little guys, it's something I have something fun to do. It's an afternoon project and I have, I don't even know how many Lion King shirts. I have a bunch of them. I have one that says uh, good, vibe, good vibes only and has Rafiki in a like a just a very simple yoga pose. It's awesome. But Lion King shirts I have in abundance so I figured I need a pair of shoes to go with them. So now here is Simba and I'm going to start around his eyes and nose and kind of build my way out. Same sort of thought about wanting to work from the top going down. I probably should have started with his mane just to be on the safe side but I, I don't know. I didn't. So there's that. But you can go ahead and you can do um, start with his mane and work your way down if you are a little bit more concerned about it. Sometimes when I'm painting things, I don't know what the deal is, but I just habitually run my hand through what I just painted. This seems to happen a lot when I'm doing nails. If I don't start in the right area, if I paint the wrong nail first, I will rest my hand on top of the one that I just did and smear the whole thing. I can't even tell you how many times I've done that. So usually it's something in the back of my mind to think about how in what order I should be painting something so that I don't do that because it's just you know once bitten wait what's that yeah once bitten twice shy there you go huh. so anyways I've got the face of my Simba down and this is uh, the adult Simba obviously if you're doing this yourself you can do this however you like I just think that he has such a commanding presence that I thought it would look really good on the pair of shoes and just continue to paint. When you're doing his mane, make sure that you add a lot of different orange and reds and brown tones. Really make it look like it's got some life to it. It's not just a flat, it's not just flat, it's hair. It's, he's, his mane is flowing in the wind. So you want to add a lot of different color values so that it has a lot of, uh, a lot of movement within it. And add some bright ones. And like I know on the one side, as you can just see, I just blended in a pretty bright poppy kind of red. That's just going to add extra layers to it. And another thing when you're thinking about when you're designing a pair of shoes is really look at the stitching, especially on this pair because it's got such uh, definite stitching and such heavy lines on it. Use that to your advantage and don't try to fight it. Try to go with it because obviously if you are recreating this design, you aren't going to, I mean, maybe you will. That would be amazing if you had the exact same pair of shoes that I have here, but you're probably not going to. That's just the realistic side of things here. So don't try to match my design exactly match what the shoes require so that it, so it looks appropriate and kind of switch things up but definitely I mean obviously I'm making a tutorial so if you want to do it exactly like that all the power to you I would love to see if you guys do make a pair of shoes like this I'd love to see them I think in general we need to I like wearable art I like wearing my nail art I like wearing shoes art I like wearing I've painted some coats before it's fun to do something that you can wear and you can do some self-promotion just by walking around and doing your grocery shopping. So anyways, that is it. I love the way these turn out. I've worn them so many times that, uh, yeah, they just make me smile. And they're super comfy too, so that's a bonus. I hope you guys like them as much as I do. And if you do recreate them in any way, shape, or form, I would love to see them. So please share it with me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!